Ladies and gents, there's no doubt that the word woke is overused at the moment, okay? No doubt in my mind, but how else do you describe people who you see on TikTok or you see in Instagram reels and look at them and go, what? What is happening in your brain? Woke is the perfect word for it. And thus, here we are with another installment, this month's installment of Woke TikToks. Shall we? All right, we're in the oh, Seattle Municipal Court. So we were talking what the f- Fuck is this? What is the what? What? <coughs> okay, this is interesting. It's like a vlog. Very my exciting. Comment about my client. Yeah, I just met her. She's really nice. She's really smart. Stephanie she Mueller. Like she's got the right idea about things. You have some huge tits, love. I really support what she's up to. Oh my god! God, it, do you, she's accused of what is it? That is trespass. What is degree. going on in Seattle? Is she innocent or guilty? She's innocent, of course. She's innocent, okay. You're not innocent. I don't know what of, but you're not innocent. It's all just happened. It, her, her hearing is over. Got it. It's done. The breasts and the voice. If you're going to become a woman and you're going to spend all that money on the boobs and the face and everything, who the fuck gets hair like that? Why do you want to look like a Karen immediately? You guys spoke all gender bathroom. I'm making all the bathrooms at my concerts not only gender neutral but species neutral. All species neutral. I will be providing litter boxes in the bathrooms for all animal identifying concert goers on my tour. Now that's inclusivity in action. Fuck! I can't even get a beer in my green rooms. Jesus Christ! (laughs) Who's shitting in a litter box? If you're shitting in a litter box, you should be fucking locked up. All right? I'm sorry. And why do those people get lumped in with the LGBTQIA plus community? That's something I do not understand. When did you realize you were part of this? Uh, I was about 12 or 13, I believe. I knew I was different. I didn't really know what yet because I didn't really know the word trans. I didn't know what LGBTQ was. Again, people who are trans and LGBTQIA pluses looking at that going, that ain't me, bro. That ain't me at all. Probably should say this, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my regional tour of Australia has now been announced. I'm going to all these cities very, very soon and my world tour is about to be announced as well. Come and see me live. It's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. You support trans people, clap your hands. If you love trans people, clap your hands. If you think trans folks are hot, and you like us a lot. If you think trans folks deserve basic human rights and shouldn't be attacked for simply existing, and we also need to protect trans children from being targeted by old white people who have never met or spoken to a trans person in their entire life. (sighs) The downfall of human civilization has begun. How many genders are there? Okay, this is a young person answering this question. This should be interesting. It's a spectrum. She got it right. A lot? It's not a spectrum at all. Can you name me a few? Maybe it's three. Maybe three. All right. Male, female in the middle. That's it. Um, you can be man, female. And I mean that like it, to be nice. If you're born with a dick and a vag, then it, sure, you're in the middle. You could be, ooh, there's so many. A demi girl, a demi boy. I bet this person is not happy about this question. <laughs> this is a stupid question. Why is it stupid? It's stupid because the answer is very obvious or the answer is not obvious. Hmm. How many are there? I don't want to participate anymore. Hmm. Uh, I think there's really an answer to that, given that... Of course there is. This is what's happening in colleges and universities across the globe. These people... Gender is kind of a social construct, so it's different for every person and also... Harry Potter, shut up. Uh, as many as you want to believe. Yeah, sure. Cool. Can you name me, like, a few? Yeah, okay. So, there's a whole spectrum of them. Um... Nope. Incorrect. There are many. It just... There's a lot. There are many different ideas of what people think they might be but the answer to that question is two maybe three if we're going to be polite it's the same as walking around all these people and asking what's two plus two all right and they answer with oh there's many answers to that question there's so many different possibilities that you could there's too many there's it's a whole spectrum of answers no the answer is obvious there's one answer that's the end of the conversation there's a lot so name me a few uh, there is male, female, gender queer, non-binary. Um, obviously, the whole trans community is counted as. A- oh wow! I don't know. This is a- what the next generation is doing with their lives. I right don't know. Now. There's a lie. I know there's like. Name me them. Uh, I know there's cis. Um, obviously, female, male. Um, Shut trans. the fuck up. Honestly, guys, if World War Three happens, we're all fucked. 
That's my conclusion. Anti-trans legislation has spread to Canada. In Alberta, Canada, the Premier has announced a slew of anti-trans policies that seem borrowed from the worst states in the United States for transgender people. One policy, for instance, would ban gender-affirming care before the age of 16 years old. That's puberty blockers and hormone therapy. What? You want to stop giving life-altering, life-changing medication to children who have decided that they are something other than what they are? Okay. Yeah, that's crazy. That's I well, can't believe someone would do that. I can't believe they do that in the medical field where they're supposed to do no harm. I can't believe they would ever do something so crazy. Another policy would ban trans youth from playing sports according to their gender identity. Yeah, because that's fair. It's actually very fair. If you were born a man and grew up as a man and became a man and then decided to compete against women because that's how your gender identity has changed over the years, that I think that's fair. I think it's fair to the women to go up against someone who has benefited from all of this testosterone for all these years, from this different bone structure, from this different ability to be quicker, be stronger, be far, all that shit. Yeah, I think that's completely fair. Another one would forcibly out transgender youth to their parents, and yet another one. Yeah, that's a weird one, I guess, um, you know, how old are these kids? I think if your kid is like nine years old, you should probably know about it. But teenagers, you probably should know about it. You should be aware of it. But I guess in this hypothetical, we're thinking that these parents are lovely people. Maybe they're not. So it's a bit of a tricky one, that one. But I think if you have changed your name and your pronouns and what gender you are at primary school, if you're a young kid, you should definitely have the parents involved. That's my, that's my opinion. I would want to know. Would make it against the law for teachers to use a trans kid's name or pronouns unless they had parental permission. I think that's probably also pretty fair. Like the study that was done in the 90s where they took all of these young kids who, these young boys who thought they were a different gender and followed them throughout life. The vast majority of them just became gay men. I think that is probably what we would see if you just allowed these kids to grow up and if you do affirm their new gender by calling them different genders and pronouns and all that type of stuff you will probably make them commit to changing what they actually are and from doing that you'll have a whole generation of kids who might grow up maybe grow up to be something that they actually grew out of which is probably quite damaging this would essentially force teachers to misgender their trans students and I think it's important to note here that this anti-trans moral panic that seems to be burning everywhere. I don't think it's anti-trans, mate. I think it's being against outrageous ideologies that are from the far, far fringes of whatever movement we're talking about. Because most trans people just want to live their life. They don't want to live in a world where everyone's forced to call them with the threat of being arrested, the right pronouns and all this type of shit. I think that's happening in Scotland at the moment. If you misgender someone, you could go to jail. I don't think anyone who is actually trans and just wants to live their life wants to live by that. I think most people just want to get on with it, all right? They, they are what they are, and that is it. There are people who are anti-trans involved in all of this, of course, but it's not everyone. And just because someone questions it doesn't make them anti-trans at all. It is global. It's not just confined to red states in the United States. Why do you think it's global? Maybe you're wrong. Have you considered that? Never seen a family like this. We went from mother and son to father and daughter. That's Whoa. right, this father and daughter okay. used to be mother and son. 15-year-old Corey Mason, who loves mascara and lip gloss, was actually born a boy. I always wanted to be a girl. Wanted to be a girl or you are a girl? That's an interesting way that that young person's phrased that statement. You know, like this, you know, like this. I was always girly. If this is the woman who gave birth That's to Corey and four now other kids, she never felt comfortable in her female body. I definitely felt like a boy. I definitely felt like I identified with boys, but I didn't realize it was possible that I could actually be one. <laughs> See, I have no problem with people being trans and, like, in adulthood. Fucking go for it. It wasn't until four years ago when the two shit. watched a TV special on trans gender keen activism. and yes, Jennings, but very geared and clear. clear. Fucking, who is, who is reading this? I said, wow, I'm just like her. I'm a girl trapped in a boy's body. Corey started taking puberty blotters at age 11 to stop facial at hair growth. At age 11? Of the voice. Yeah, that is. This is Dude. the moment Corey received her first dose of female hormones. Oh. She's overcome with emotion. Christ. <laughs> just 
seeing her courage and her bravery. Fuck, I don't want to watch the rest of that. That's fucking just, yeah, 11, really? So in Mr. Bojakowski's response, he admits that he possessed the medical specimen. Okay, okay, I should give some context here. This is from Libs' TikTok. A couple is in court over a battle of, in quotes, D's nuts. The trans partner got his testicles removed and kept them in the fridge. He's suing his former partner now to return them and asking for $6,500 in debt. So in Mr. Bojakowski's response, he admits that he possessed the medical specimen. Your balls. And he admits that he disposed of them. The ball is no longer in your court. I am suing for the return of them. How would you have them if they're, if they're gone? They're in the bin, mate. And damages in the amount of $6,500. Where'd you come up with that number too, by the way? He had had her testicles removed i believe if i recalled correctly it was march 23rd Never forget and they were left in the fridge how the fuck did you get them i had my wisdom teeth pulled out and they wouldn't let me take them home in australia apparently that's a thing you're not allowed to take teeth home with you and you were allowed to take your testicles home i wanted nothing to do with it i thought it was odd of course it's odd but i try not to judge because everybody's a little different Everybody's a little different some people have growths on their heads some people have a bung fucking knee not everybody Keeps testicles in the fridge. If it's what made her happy, whatever. How does that make you happy? I want nothing to do with them. Of course you didn't. I'm not one for body parts and all that stuff. It's kind of gross, actually. Of course it is. Um, it's part of her twisted humor. Humor? And so they were in the house from March, April to... They were there from April 2022 until July of 2023 when I disposed of them. Fuck, that is a long time. But also, I freak out if chicken's in the fridge for too long. I don't know what the fuck you'd do with a pair of balls. Yeah, so, because, um... Why is your dog with you? Did you keep that dog's balls too? That physical anomaly has been a point of stress oh, in my life. Oh, shut up. No one cares. I love how this, the writer of the story, who was great and shaped it really well, and I had a really nice time with her, um, called the story uncensored, and then the... The whole cover was censored <laughs> because the existence of a female body thrusting any type of sexuality at you that's not designed for or desired by exclusively um, cis straight is males this? is like something about? that people are like. Okay, so this is Christian Stewart from Twilight. You probably remember her from back in the day. Hasn't done much since, uh, so good on her. Uh, talking about a cover that she did, a cover shoot, and that cis men won't be happy with the cover shoot. Let's have a look at what the cover looks like, shall we? Right-wingers are terrified of our gay Christian Stewart cover. Okay, looks a bit different, but... Oh, that's the one. Okay. Her with a hand down her pants, in her underpants, wearing a leather jacket. Yeah, that's, I mean, whatever. She's got a mullet too, that's different. It's just weird that she's fingering herself on a cover of a magazine. I think that's why people probably have an issue with it. It's Rolling Stone, not fucking Picture Magazine. Get your hand out of your pants and try and get back into acting, maybe. I don't know, I don't give a fuck. Just what are you even whinging about in this? I mean, I don't know, some dudes might like that, I guess. If you're into girls with a fucking chin like Hugh Jackman, sure. Christian Stewart's your girl. Wise up. Wise up and, and resist, resist hate, speech. hate speech. Jesus was bisexual. Okay. Jesus was bisexual. Many use the Bible. I bet the Christians and the Catholics are going to really take this one on board. As a hateful homophobic attack. Not as much as Jesus did apparently though. The Bible indicates that Jesus was bisexual, saying okay. he had a special love for John. Johnny! Johnny used to cop some of that holy cock. It says repeatedly that John was the one that Jesus loved. John was the only male disciple present at the crucifixion, and Jesus' last words implored his mother to regard his love, John, as his partner, their son-in-law, part of her family. I'm not going to give my opinion. I don't know anything about the Bible, uh, but uh, Christian people in the comment section, let me know. And I wonder if this man had said that Allah was bisexual, whether or not he'd have any hands left. <laughs> I don't think I'm that hairy. I mean, I have some, but it's not that crazy. I mean, like, it's not that much, right? It's, it's far too much. Obviously. Okay, maybe maybe a little bit. Ladies, you talk all the time about respect and you want to be seen as equals. You can be seen as equals. You just just don't look like us. Please. Please don't look like me. Nobody wants to look like me. Not even me. <laughs> it's scary to see what's happening in the United States. Whether it's 2SLGBTQI+. Hey! That's a long acronym. What are you talking Rights about? Rights 
that are constantly being attacked Just by government. Justin is the biggest piece of shit that's ever existed. We'll never let it happen. My government will always... The Canadians fucking hate him. ...stand up unequivocally for women's rights, for 2SLGBTQI plus two. rights. Two! 2SLGBTQI plus. Too many in that acronym, sir. Stop. And if you want to know what's actually happening in Canada, it is this. We will not let fear win. Well the done, Justin. Without trans people has never existed. You know what upsets me the most about that whole fucking press conference is the two people wearing masks. And it never will. Queer people have always been here amongst us. They are our co-workers. Yeah, there's, of course there's queer people, but they're not dressed up in Halloween costumes. <laughs> Fuck me dead. There must be so many people in the LGBT community that look at that and just go, what the fuck are you people doing? Mum at Pride Parade says a 15th month old baby uses they, them pronouns. How old is she? Um, they are 15 months old. You idiot. They use they, them pronouns for a grade until they oh. tell us who they are. That's why you were like, who? You what? fucking idiot. Oh, wow. Okay, so... They. They. Uh-huh. Awesome. It's a little girl. Uh -huh. awesome. Some people just Enjoy shouldn't be parents, mate. Did you say thank you? Simple as that. Thank you. Fucking. As if that is not. God, the whole pride parade has changed from people going, oh, hey, everyone loves everyone and anyone can love anyone to like, hey, here's my 15 month old baby who uses they, them pronouns. Can you spare a hormone blocker? Fuck me. See you later. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East, but extinct. Make sure you come and see me live. I am on tour all over Australia and my world tour is about to get announced. So stick around for that. <sighs> what a video. See ya. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this fantastic video by me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, some very important news. I am going on a world tour in 2024. If you are in the USA, the UK, Australia, or New Zealand, or any other part of the world, make sure you sign up for tickets at isaacbutterfield.com. And as soon as they become available, you will get an email, you'll be able to get them straight away, and you won't miss out. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Once again, see you next time. Bye.